In this video, we are going to understand how to install Power BI Desktop for Mac users. So as we already understood that there is no a proper installation or a you know a regular installation method. However, there are some paid uh, websites which are offering a couple of uh, processes to install it. But this is a free method where you are kind of installing a virtual machine on top of a cloud uh, via a remote connection desktop. Okay, so you need to be connecting to that virtual machine by a remote connectivity. Okay. So first, what we have to do is in order to uh, install it, you need to uh, have an account created on AWS. So I'm going to google.com and I'm going to AWS, what AWS console login. So we are going to install a virtual machine on top of Amazon Web Services. So let us click on this little bit link. Here you can click on the create an AWS account. Okay, we don't have one, so we are going to create a new one. Verify email address. I'm going to get a verification code on my mobile. I'm going to open it up. I'm just going to check. Basically, this account is for 12 months free. You can see for next 12 months, you're going to access this uh, for very free. And uh, for that, you need to just uh, validate your credit card where $1 will be deducted. And again, it will be refunded to you within a couple of days. So I'm going to select, how do you plan to use AWS? For personal, for your own projects, you can select this option. So once we make it, we can just select our, we can enter our details. I'm entering my details. So as I mentioned, we can go with the this free tire offer. Basically is for next 12 months, we're going to access this for very, you know, free. And we can use uh, personal for your own projects. Second option and we can enter our name and details. I'm going to draw all the details here and continue. Now it is expecting me to enter a credit card details. So usually $1 will be deducted and uh, it will be getting refunded within three to five days. It is just for verific ver verification purposes. So I'm going to enter my uh, credit card details. Just give me a moment. So I was uh, able to enter my all the details and uh, now I'm here. Re-enter my phone number. You can choose this very first step, which is basic support free. Click on complete sign up. Congratulations, you are able to set up a proper AWS account. Now you can go to the AWS management console. Try to log in, sign into the console and uh, enter your password, which is powerbsantoshitra.gmail.com. Just search for EC2. Okay. This is for creating virtual servers on the cloud. Okay. So we need to search for EC2 the steps coming up so let us uh, kind of install virtual machine now so what we have to do is we have to first set up a key pair okay, there's something called key pairs below so i'm going to set up that key pairs so i'm going to create a new key pair uh, just enter the key pair number power pi this desktop key pair or key and then i uh, can just uh, Private key, we can select dot PEM and create a new key pair. So this will kind of download a file on your local machine. Key pair successfully, we can go to the next step, right? You can just close this and go back to our EC2 dashboard. And there is something called launch instance. So basically this will help us create the virtual machine. So let us create launch instance. So here you need to select what exactly you are planning to do. Maybe saying, I want this to be named as Power API Dev. And what are you planning to, what application or what image are you planning to implement on this? Maybe I'm looking for virtual or Windows, right? We are planning to install something called Windows. Okay, when you search for it, as you can see, it is showing up uh, Microsoft Windows Server 2022 base, right? So it is also showing free tire eligible. This is what you are interested to put in basically. So you need to, uh, you know, connect something which is free tire because you wanted to use it for next uh, 12 months for free. So you can select this Microsoft Windows Server, select. In fact, you can do the filtration of a uh, free tire there. So I've selected that, uh, we scroll down and they use my already created key pair. I'm just selecting the key pair. Then just click on launch instance and see. 
that is creating by default whatever options we have successfully initiated launch of instance all right so you can click on this instance that means that instance is open now and it will show you yeah as you can see immediately it has just taken hardly 60 seconds and now it is in the running status so i think now we are good to uh, start and launch this we can try to click on this uh, instance id and uh, Click on connect on the top right side. Can you see? You can click on connect to this virtual machine. It says you want to, or do you want to connect? So basically, right now I'm on Windows machine, but even this is, this works from your uh, iOS. Turn to mode desktop so that this will double click so that it will take up the uh, by default. You can select this and see if you wanted to get the password, it is asking you to upload the private key which is the key pair one, which we downloaded. So I'm going to upload that key pair one and you can select this, uh, decrypt password. So once you click on that, you can see the password is generated. I'm going to copy this and it is logging in and just copy paste with the password. Now we can see a new virtual machine has opened up and here it is like a regular machine. Now you can install Power BI Desktop on this Windows server that you just logged in.